Welcome to Pokemon Emerald part number four. Today we are going to go ahead and complete Dewford Island here. Basically what we got to do is go into Granite Cave where we cannot see a single thing, which is kind of unfortunate because we're just going to have a little black circle around us, but I'm basically just going to hug the cave walls and that way we should get through it no problem as it's just kind of a left and right, left and right from going to ladder from ladder from what I remember. And then after we do that and find Steven and deliver the letter we had for him, we're going to go ahead towards the gym as well and hopefully we can take down that Makuhita that that, uh, Brawly has. He's the second gym leader, second one on our list, and uh, he's probably going to put up a decent fight, so we're going to see how that goes. Now, in order to beat him, what I'm going to do, I think, is a fail safe, is I'm going to catch a Sableye in the cave over here. That way, you know, hopefully we can get one between, like, level 8 and 10. That way, we can fight him, and he can't hit us. The only moves he knows are, like, fighting moves, which are physical, so he can't hit us. And then he gives you the bulk up TM, so his uh, Pokemon also uses that, so we're pretty much gravy once we do that. Well, I didn't expect that. I don't really remember my types too well. Is it because ground is super effective against poison? Is that how that works? I think so, right? Oh well, either way, whatever case, I'm not complaining. So now that he's done, we're going to go ahead and continue our way towards Granite Cave. I don't know if there's a few more trainers in the way, or if we can just directly go in there. Like, can I just avoid this? Oh yeah, okay, we can completely avoid this guy. We could fight him, but I'm not going to bother. We're just going to go right in the cave. Now, for this first bit here, we're able to see where we're going, but the second we go down the first ladder, no way, Jose, and I'm so glad. I just remembered I brought some repels. Thank you, Geodude. You know what, Geodude, just for that? If you survive this water gun, then I'll capture you. If not, it wasn't meant to be. Oh, sorry little Geodude, I guess you're not joining the adventure, buddy. Hopefully we run into a Sableye here, you know, using the repel is one thing, you know. I think I'll use it now just to get a lot closer to Steven, and then uh, once we do find him and or get super close, then we'll go ahead and capture our Sableye, even if we have to farm afterwards, no worries, because it'll be essential to have just in case he does take down my little uh, Mudkip here, or Marsh Stomp now, I guess. Uh, I like the name Meow, by the way, because, you know, the name Meow Cadams is just a hilarious name. I used that when I played through Hogwarts Legacy. I thought it was super funny anyways. So basically what my plan here is, you know, given we don't have Flash, and I don't even know how you acquire Flash, to be honest. I have no idea. So we're just going to raw dog it and go right for it. I'm just going to hug the walls just to kind of get an idea of where I'm going. Hopefully the rooms are not too big and hugging the outside walls works, because then I can get a sense of direction. Now, so far, it seems like we're successful. We're making some good distance, not getting too caught up. So hey, we just came in from the right. So now we're going to try and go as far left as we can, and we should be able to get through no problem. Well, so far so good. Oh, an encounter. All right, well, our repel just wore off, so... <gasps> All right, that's what we need right there. Level 10 too, that is beautiful. That is a perfect level right there. I don't think they come any higher. If they do, whatever, we're gonna try and capture him. Just injure him a little bit, you know, I don't wanna kill him and ideally we take this one with us because then we can defeat this gym leader no matter what. I believe Sableye knows the move Nightshade, which is pretty crazy, you know, it's pretty nice. It's a good, strong ghost type attack, which will affect the Makahita and we can take him. So, you know, I had to battle this guy a little bit to get him down, figured I would save you the hassle, but in the end, we ended up capturing him. So, hey, that's another one added to the team and now we can go ahead and conquer Brawly's gym no problem I'm confident that should be the key to success this little sable eye here and just for that we might take him along for the journey because that was some excellent timing I'm not gonna waste my time with the Zubats or the Geodudes oh and Abra all right oh I also forgot to get a Ralts at the start I meant to go back and grab one I love Gardevoir one of my favorite Pokemon ever 100% Oh, I hope we can get this Abra. I, I should have kept that Great Ball that I used on the Sableye. Man, I don't know if it would have worked because I think the only move that he knows is Teleport, right? All right, well, that's a rip. Later, Abra. No Hypno for me. Also, weird Hypno, you know, the little kidnapper in Fire Red, how he takes that little girl in the forest. What is it, on, like, Island 3 or something like that when, you're, when you get the ticket? Absolutely bananas, you know? He's out there hypnotizing and capturing little kids. It's crazy, you know? That Pokemon's wild. <laughs> but anyways, now that we got our Sableye here, I'm going to go ahead and use Repel because I'm really not interested in catching anything else. Just kind of more or less want to get through this cave, find uh, Mr. Steven, and then get the heck out of here as this is going to be a pain. I really hope I get through this before I run out of Repels. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare.
gonna save you the hassle of some mindless wandering so here we are at the next ladder i believe there's one more we have to take maybe two but i think for the most part like i want to go down here and explore but that ladder there is so tempting like what if i leave and that's not it oh all right here we are we're out i believe we go to the end and then mr steven is just waiting for us right there that is amazing i didn't expect that that's only what like three four ladders you have to go through i guess that cave's not all that bad without flash to be honest it definitely could be a lot worse Nah, level 7, not worth our time. Instead, we're gonna continue and exit and talk with Steven. Just kidding, I guess not. We're gonna get another encounter right by the entrance. Alright, Makuhita. Oh, okay, if that was a higher level, I'd get it. Level 7, no point when you can catch one that's level 10 or higher, right? So I think I'm just not gonna bother with this one and run away, too. It's a shame, because I would use him against Brawly as well. You know, fighting types are strong, man. Regardless of their level, they're crazy. But there's Mr. Steven. Alrighty, well, we have successfully found Steven. Luckily, the game gives you an escape rope to get out of here if you find it. Me, I decided to buy one ahead of time because I was positive there was a cave early on. There always is in these games. But now that this is done, I feel like we should go and check what's up in the top left of this cave because I don't remember. So we'll have to fight this fisherman here and then we'll go check around the corner. And then if nothing's there, then we're going to go ahead and proceed to the gym fight and take down Brawly as he is the next obstacle in the storyline for us to get through. And then once we do defeat him, we're going to be able to go to Slateport where we have to go and defeat some Team Aqua members and deliver the Devon goods. And then I don't know if there's a gym nearby or not, but that's also where the, uh, I think that mysterious guy's house is, as well as like the bike pedal path, but I don't remember where or how to get a bike in this game. Like, I haven't played this in so many years. It's been such a long time. You know, I'm having fun replaying it, reliving the memories as a kid, but I'm so glad, you know, it's like a fresh playthrough for me. I was going to do it with a randomizer originally, but I figured I would do it classic first, you know, and then I'll probably start doing the ROM hacks, you know, Unbound, Rocket Red, all that kind of fun stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. But for now, we're going to melt these Magikarps. Honestly, I might just switch out because, you know, I could get some levels for this little Lotad here, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. I might just change out and eliminate him a lot quicker, get this fight done so we can get right to the gym leader. Man, Tentacruel used to be one of my favorite Pokemon, the Evolve form of this one. Man, such a cool and scary and like horror looking filled like octopus monster Pokemon. I love it so much. What sparked my interest really was that Pokemon movie, one of the very first ones. It's where Brock, Misty, and Ash are traveling together, you know? And then they run into that city where there's all that fishing going on or something and the Pokemon are mad about it. So they flood the city and just annihilate everything. I don't know if they murked anybody or not, but they definitely did a lot of structural damage and all that money's got to come from somewhere. So I'm sensing they're going to be some tentacool slavery in the near future. But anyways, having that said, you know, they get everything sorted out and everything's all peaceful. But anyways, the Pokemon looked really cool and really inspired my interest. You know, also Gyarados, fantastic water type Pokemon. And, you know, what is it, Outrage, the move that he learns? And he can learn like Dragon Claw, Hyper Beam. Gyarados is where it's at. Absolutely top tier Pokemon right there, 100%. Well, having that said, time to go to the gym, which again, we can't see anything just like Granite Cave because I have no idea how to get Flash, where to find it, or if you can even get it at this point, I have no idea. Regardless, you can get through without it just fine. I don't know about the rest of you, but I suffered as a kid going through Mount Moon and what is it, the Rock Tunnel, I believe? And oh my god, just the amount of time it takes to get, like it's huge! Those caves are absolutely massive and they expect a kid to get through there and figure out where to go. Like the old Pokemon games didn't tell you anything, like you got a general sense of direction sometimes you know you had to talk to all the people in the town to figure it out versus the pokemon games today like they're so linear you know aside like pokemon arceus and stuff you know i want to play those i haven't tried them yet but i really want to however i prefer the old style for sure you know a lot more problem solving and just so much more you know it makes you explore and you got to check things out just like if you play elden ring you got to explore if you've been playing for 20 hours and you're still in limb grave bro you got some stuff to do you got some progress to make if you need some help, you can check out my videos 100%, you know? Elden Ring DLC is coming out. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to watch gameplay before I decide to purchase it myself. Because if it's only like an hour or two, you know? I've heard it's like 30 hours or something like that, you know?
Well, that's another one out of the way. Hopefully we can get to the gym leader before we end up having to fight more and lose some more health as I don't have any potions. I have some oran berries or oran berries, however you pronounce them. Looks like this way's a dead end. But anyways, that's pretty much the only thing I got aside that Sableye. So hopefully between those two things, if we do lose our marsh stomp, we'll still be okay. I'm thinking we should be, you know, I don't think our Sableye can get contacted, but just in case, who knows. Well, level 13's not too bad. So far, the enemies haven't had any crazy high Pokemon, which is nice. You know, I'm expecting that the gym leader's probably gonna be like level 17, 18, somewhere around there, if I had to guess. You know, we're probably progressing into the level 20s towards the next gym here, so that's probably what we're gonna be looking at, unfortunately, so we'll have a bit of a fight on our hands. I also totally forgot that I put Lotad at the front, too. Totally forgot to, that I switched that around, but you know what, that's okay. We'll still get him, we'll hit him with the mud shot, and hopefully we can just take him down and get rid of him. If not, we might test out our, sh our uh, sorry, our Sableye theory and send him out and see what happens, but I don't think I'll need to. Alright, next trainer down, on to the next. I don't know how many are in here, I don't know where the pathways go, I have no idea. I'm gonna use this one potion I do have now, and then it's time to rely on those berries and the Sableye. We're gonna see how it goes. I think it'll work out, we should be just fine, but you know, I am a little nervous. I'm hoping to do it first try, though we don't have to fight him a bunch and make our way back through this maze. Alright, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and do the classic save, that way if we mess up, we can come back and fix our mistakes. Man, I love the battle music in this game. Every time you load up, it just sounds so good, and I love this. Ah, oh, the sound of the Pokeballs, the ting, 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 ting. Oh, it's so perfect, so satisfying too. Wow, level 16 right off the hop, that's a pretty strong start, I must say. So hopefully, you know, the Makahita isn't rocking like level 20, because that could be a problem. Now, we are pretty close to leveling up, so as long as we can take out his first two Pokemon, which I don't remember what his next one is, but I know he has that Makuhita, that's a big problem. And what does he have, like, Seismic Toss is his move or something like that? I, I don't remember what TM he gives you, I don't recall anymore. But yeah, get rid of this guy, and hopefully with the level up and the berries and the Sableye, we can come out victorious, I'm really hoping. Bro, watch him do this for every Pokemon he has to Super Potions, just straight back to full health, no problem, you know, just restart again, that's cool bro, alright, I see how it is. Well, just one more turn in this Machop is out of the way, Machop will be the one that gets chopped, I bet that does a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty solid hit right there, and that's some bad news. So we're going to get rid of this guy, and hopefully with the next Pokemon, I'm going to take a gamble and maybe attack and just see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't end out too badly for us, because if this Pokemon faints, I'm screwed. I have no revives. I'm really hoping that the Oran Berries and the Sableye clutch it and save the day. So what is this Pokemon? Oh, okay, okay, wait. This Pokemon knows Bulk Up, right? If it does that and doesn't attack, we can take him down without any sort of worry. Or Bide, I think it's called. Hey, we like that. I love those crits, but watch, he'll probably heal up or have a barrier or some nonsense. Yeah, 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 okay, that's cool. All right, you know, I get it, it was a lucky hit. I get it, I don't deserve it, so I'll take it, I understand. Oh, okay, yep, that's game over for this guy. He chose to bide or store his energy, and instead he's gonna pay with his life. So, next up we have the Makuhita, who I am not looking forward to facing, but hopefully we can output some damage. Now, unfortunately, I do believe that this individual also has a berry, an Oran berry, or is it a Citrus berry? I think it heals, like, a good chunk of his health, like 30 points instead of 10, like the Oran berry, right? Something like that? Anyways, we're gonna try and do as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible, and ideally, it will be nice to slow him down and get a successful run before before we go ahead and have to use our berries here, but by the looks of- oh, bruh, alright, well, alright, time to uh, use our backup Pokemons here, I was gonna use the throwaways, like the little Wurmple and the Silcoon or whatever I have, you know, anyways, but I decided to throw out the Sableye and test my theory, because I'm pretty sure his physical attacks can't hurt me, so you know, I, I'm gonna spend this time healing up, but honestly, I don't even think I need to heal up my other Pokemon, I'm pretty sure Sableye can just tank this, I'm almost positive. But for now, we're going to heal up, and I'm going to go turn by turn and just skip through it for you so that you don't have to watch it every time. But anyways, now we're going to go ahead and engage with Sableye and see how it goes. Maybe I didn't need to do that at all, and if so, hey, perfect. Worth it to me. But 
that's what I thought. None of his fighting moves can hit us because we are a uh, ghost-type Pokemon, so we can't be hurt by physical moves. So basically, we're able to just rinse this guy, sit here and not get damaged at all. You know, he spams his bulk up move. He puts his attack and defense up, but for no reason, he can't use any of his attacks. So we're able to just sit here, take him down, and give this XP to Sableye, unfortunately, but that's all right. We might level him up and take him along because he was able to clutch this for us. So hey, get you a Sableye when you come here. 10 out of 10 recommend. Hey, all right, so now we got ourselves the second badge out of eight. We just need six more and then to defeat the Elite Four and then tackle the Battle Frontier. We're making some good progress in this series. Now that he's out of the way, we also get our level 30 Pokemon to obey us, so that is fantastic. We can do some leveling up and of course we're gonna save just in case. Every time you do a gym before and after, you know, nothing worse than when you play and you continue to play and then you forget and you don't save and you gotta do it all over again. And you know, you decide to do it differently. But now that that's done, basically we're, we're done here. We're done here on this island, and we're going to go ahead and make our way to Slateport and go for a nice little journey with Mr. Briny here, or Captain Briny, I should say. There's a lot of trainers in this water, bro. I'm not swimming this way unless I have to. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a cool ship on the side. Well, now I have to. <laughs> I, uh, I was watching Point Crow recently, who's doing a randomizer on here, and man, just all the different rooms and the areas they take you to, oh, it's just so cool. You know, I might decide to check out his randomizer where every time you walk into a different room, it takes you to a completely different place. Sometimes it's a different city, different cave, and you just got to be careful you don't get softlocked, but I'm sure that they take care of that, you know, try to manage those as best they can. But yeah, anyways, it should be a lot of, uh, is this going to be a triple battle by chance? Like, is that a thing? I don't think so, right? Okay, so now what's gonna happen? That other kid's looking at me. I'm gonna do these two and then, or sorry, like battle these two. And then, and then what? He's gonna, like, do I just not get the chance to run? I just have to fight? That's cool, you guys. I see how it is. Everybody trying to bully me. I just got here, pulled up on the island. Everybody wants to fight. That's messed up. But we gonna show him what's up. Wow, bro just one shots my low tad, just picked on my little buddy, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna send out Sableye. I don't think Meryl can affect me unless it knows Water Gun, which it might, I suppose. Uh, also, I find it kind of interesting that your like stat lowering moves, like defense, you know, whatever, whatever move you decide to use, Growl or Leer or whatever Meryl just used, you know, allows you to lower your opponent's stats, right? But it's interesting in the double battle how it affects, you know, both teams, or sorry, like both members of that party on the enemy team. It's interesting anyways. I just find that a neat little feature, how it's not just that one Pokemon specific. Kind of interesting. Now, this Wingle here appears to do a good bit of damage. I might have to catch me one of these that I have an air Pokemon because I don't have one yet. Basically, I got this guy, Sableye, and Lotad. That's the party so far, so we gotta make some improvements, you know, level up a little bit. But so far, we're doing so good, so until we start to struggle, we won't start to, you know, farm some Pokemon. And we might catch some good ones along the way still at a decent level, so we might not have to do that at all, making our life a lot easier and spending a whole lot less time. So now that these two are defeated, do I just instantly go into a trainer battle again? Like, no option to move? Bro, imagine if your battery was dying and you had to save your Game Boy at this point, or you're using your DS, whatever the case is. Oh my god, that would suck. You would just be hoping you can finish this in time before you could save again. Absolutely bananas. Well, with a Zigzagoon, it shouldn't take too long, at least. A level 20, I will take that. Yes, sir, absolutely. All right, well, now we're level 20, so that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna bother learning Foresight. I don't remember what it does, and therefore I'm gonna choose not to learn it. I think Sableye had it, and all it did was identify his foe, and I'm not sure what that quite does. Also, bro, I never said I wanted to be your friend, but I guess, sure. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get off the beach here, skip the little beach club, and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of explore what's around. Now, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go here. I know that I'm supposed to deliver the Devon goods. I don't remember to who. So we're gonna go ahead and just check out a few uh, sorry, like a few buildings and just kind of see what the people have to say and hopefully we can move ahead with the quest line in no time. I think there's like a few ways that are blocked off or something, but I definitely know that the Team Aqua guys are here for sure. So we're going to go see what they're up to. Like, do I just talk to these guys? 
You know what, we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, get ourselves all situated before we decide to tackle this again, so I will see you in part 5 where we fight these Team Aqua guys and go save the captain, as we have to and we will deliver our Devon goods and continue onward with the Pokemon story. So next video up is a South Park video and then back to back between Pokemon, back and forth constantly. So I will see you in the next one, thank you for watching.